And you know what that means? That it's not October. And we're 17 days out from uh, Endwalker. And the craziest aspect of that is we've got Forza 5, Call of Duty Vanguard, and Battlefield, plus Lost Ark, uh, before that even comes out. Before we even say it. It's incredible. It's incredible. It's going to be a good month, chat. I'm, I'm putting it out there. I'm going to Babe Ruth it. It's going to be a good month. It's going to be a good month. And before we get to all that, we've got these trailers, which include some Elder Scrolls online stuff. We got a Call of Duty plus Battlefield launch trailers or something like that for the PC. Halo Infinite stuff. Uh, Some other like indie things. We've got six Daily Demons. Incredible. Let's not delay this any further. Let's get into the trailers. Here is a trailer for the Elder Scrolls Online Deadlands, which I guess is their newest expansion. I don't really know anything about Elder Scrolls Online, apart that I got married in it, and uh, then I quit the game. So, let's just see what happens in this. You seek to keep my ambitions from me, and cost me many followers in Blackwood. Is this a Daedra thing? I've spent millennia preparing. He looks like Ivan Ooze, but red. I, Merun's Dagon, the Prince of Destruction. Oh, so they're just like straight up in. Denied. Whoa. So is this a raid? Can you hold back a flood? Or stop the world from burning? No. Disaster is inevitable. My will is indomitable. Got a lot of questions. And near shall be mine. What? I'm going to bear and a little lizard chicken thing. What the fuck is that? Little lizard chicken guy. Weird. Oh, that came out today for PC in Stadia. Comes out the 16th for consoles. Huh. Oh, we still got a little bit more. Maybe. Oh, okay. They're just showing the different expansions. How many people play Elder Scrolls Online? What's the Steam Spy on that? Steam Spy Elder Scrolls Online. Does it have its own? Uh... Wow. Is it free to play? It's buy to play. Jesus. According to uh, Steam Spy, it's got <clears throat> five to 10 million people that have bought the game. And its peak concurrent players yesterday was 23,000. By proxy, what was FF14? Yesterday, its peak concurrent players was 39,000. Okay. All right. Final Fantasy stills winning. Chat, that's all I'm, that's, who cares? <laughs> who cares, honestly? Next trailer, let's get to it. It's a Hunt Showdown trailer. This is called uh, Cold-Blooded. What the hell? Wow. 
What? He can just be in the water? A bomb lance. Dude, the bomb lance is kind of sick. cosmetic skins oh that's not a character wait so there's already a character that does all that achieved with cry engine i need to play some more hunt i only played like two or three nights with uh with gassy i played it off stream as well huh you just get the gear and go interesting but does the skin like help you camouflage you play hunt regularly and badly. Nice. Nice. Hmm. Anyways, uh, next trailer is for the PC trailer for Call of Duty Vanguard. Let's see what we got. Let's see what copyrighted music they use here. Every person on this team was a hero in their own right. I mean, that does look very good graphically. Damn. We're the mortars. The most dangerous operators on every front, working together. Just remember, we're a team up there. We're gonna be dicey. Man, that actually looks very good. I don't give a shit about the multiplayer. I kind of just want to play this for the single player campaign. The only way to win was to have each other's backs. That was cool. We hit the bloody jackpot. Me best. Pre purchase now and get the frontline weapons pack. Hmm. Wait a minute, hold on. What was that pack? Wait, where's my gun? Where's the gun that made us laugh every time? They took it out. It's no longer there. These guns don't look stupid. <clears throat> they don't look stupid. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Chad, we got ads coming up if you're watching here live on Twitch. If you don't want to see those, you can drop a prime sub, maybe catch some gifted subs as we do match them all here or just a $5 sub or just sit and watch the ads. But three minutes are going to roll. You've been warned, okay? And we've got a 22nd 7. 27 second. 20 second 7. Now I'm just saying words too many times. They don't even sound like words anymore. You know what I'm saying? Here's a trailer for Flight of Nova. Like some weird spacey shit. Some weird spacey shit, chat. It's too spacey. Too spacey for me. Next trailer is for a game called Sucker for Love First Date. Here we go. Gotcha, 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 
I didn't know that this was going to happen, but uh, here we go. Wait, is that it's like a hot Cthulhu lady? Everyone still with us? You guys still here? Are we good? Are we okay? Do we make it through that? That that we've watched, I don't know, hundreds, if not thousands, of trailers. That was the weirdest one. That was the weirdest one. Hands down, weirdest trailer we've ever seen. Anyways, now that we've all had uh, our soul, souls sucked out by Lovecraftian aliens uh, into a black hole at Eternium. Let's meet the characters of Oxenfree 2 Lost Signals six minute trailer. Buckle the fuck up. Here we go. Jacob is the platonic ideal of struggling with a lack of purpose. But the events of this night are finally pushing him to take a stand about who he is and what he wants out of his life. I never played the first Oxenfree. I think it was very good though, right? People liked it. In Oxenfree 2, I'm really looking forward to people playing with Jacob, who it's is really good. their kind nice. of main counterpart throughout the game. Jacob works as a handyman for hire, and he lives with his dog, Buddha, who's his best friend. Jacob hasn't left Kamina. He grew up there. He went to high school with Riley. You take a look at Jacob. He's got this questionable facial hair. He's got the hipster hat. And his animation also gave him that laid back kind of, hey, I'm just hanging out here in the woods, You're not being creepy. Jacob actually has direct ties to the events of Oxenfree 1, and particularly the history of Maggie Adler. Maggie was the woman that first kind of discovered what radios could do. She was the one who was kind of tied to the events that really kicked off the whole story. Jacob Wait, the game is, is based on radios? Thrilled and fascinated with the sort of otherworldly phenomenons and the things that are happening in Kamina. Jacob's somebody who isn't super content with where he is in life. Just forget it. I'm saying it's meaningless to hope, which sounds mean. He feels a little too comfortable. He feels like there is more to be achieved, and he doesn't know what risks to take to get there. The fuck? What we love about the secrecy inside of the game is that I'll there turn up a, a little lot bit. of things hidden in plain sight. That might be literal ghosts rustling in the bushes, secret codes or ciphers that uh, are military related, or it might be the way that parentage has been communicating with each other all over Kamina. Parentage wears masks. They're kind of this weird religious entity that has this lunar uh, symbology on weird. them. They're more of an organized society like a group of people who have come together with common beliefs, and it gets a little culty and a little weird. 
And it's not something new, it's actually something that's been around for generations. Their membership is very small, they're very particular about who they let in, they're very secretive. The cult has kind of defined their worldview in a way where they have dug really deep into this actual supernatural phenomena and have started to try to exploit it for their own gain. They're the primary antagonists in the game. They're this group that is really looking to tap into the other side using radio tech and kind of mess with the time-space continuum in ways they probably should not be. I think a pivotal character who really was the tipping point that started all of the events of this universe uh, is somebody named Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler was a comms officer in World War II, and she's the one who discovered the sunken, and that there's some sort of radio signal coming from the submarine that crashed. And the crewmen that were on the submarine, oh. they didn't just die, they kind of got stuck between every possible timeline that could happen. When Jacob was a kid, he was friends with Maggie Adler, and Maggie Adler was tuned into some suspicious goings on in the radio waves. Wait, what time does this take place in? And she infected Jacob with that curiosity. In this game, you will learn more about Maggie and who she was uh, later in her life. Maggie's specialty while working in the military was in code breaking and ciphers. And so what Maggie understood is there's just a lot of coded language and hidden things throughout this space. Riley is a, I think she's a lot more adventurous than I am. You know, I like to think that I'm adventurous in some ways, but I'm not gonna rappel down the side of a cliff. <laughs> Riley was raised by a single father, and there's definitely some resentment that she holds towards him that does inform her character throughout the game. The challenges that the characters are trying to overcome in this new game are a combination of personal and the massive portal opening that they need to stop type of problems that we all know from Oxenfree 1. Riley's dealing with a lot of heavy stuff from her past at the same time as she's dealing with parentage attempting to steal her future. And it's a future she's still sorting out and shaping right now. That's a very interesting, uh, completely different soundscape voiceover. Now. It's all happening at the pivotal time where not only is she deciding who she's going to be, but she's also got to do it in the face of all these crazy supernatural challenges. Riley's from Kamina, and unlike Alex and her friends in Oxenfree 1, Riley did not have the best time growing up in this area. She later joined the military, but she sort of found herself drifting aimlessly through life and realized that she is in need of a purpose. Whereas the first game, really tight kind of focus on a few classmates. This game is about Riley coming home and interacting with Jacob, who is somebody who Wait, she so is this went just to a high walking school simulator? with, dealing with her father, dealing with a whole host of new characters that are along this coast. Okay. Jesus Christ. So loud. Oh, there's puzzles, more point and click. Okay. Well, that was loud AF. That's all I know, chat. That's all I know. Next trailer's for a game called Orbital Bullet. This is for Eternity Update trailer. I don't know what this is. Kind of like a cylindrical Metroid. Whoa. That's kind of interesting level design. Anyone played this? I was just like Metroid. Well, in the opening, I saw him opening up a door by shooting it. And then the rest of the trailer happened. So, yeah. 
Anyways, I'm holding back. Nor, that's a token right there. I'm holding back. Uh, next trailer is Plan B from Outer Space, a Bavarian Odyssey. It's a very long name. Let's see what we got here. I don't know. Commander, we crashed on a forbidden planet. Thank Flog, our arrival went by unnoticed, but I can't contact any help. We need to trooper on and fix our starship. It seems we're in proper. Was that guy's name Kylo Bavari Ren? It seems we're in proximity to the metropolis of a native tribe. Calculating chance for survival entering their district undisguised, 9%. Other predators seem to lurk around here as well. They are bristled, have claws, teeth, and pimples. Snatch a body as your avatar and mimic one of these things. I'll program a translation matrix for their primitive language. Apparently, the man in black wants to bring Judgment Day upon us. But some of them seem to be nice. Maybe we could establish first contact. This one even wants to hitchhike a ride out of this galaxy. Anyway, let's move or we will be stuck on this planet forever with these Kelvis apes. There's no plan B to success. Unless, of course, you're from outer space. We got some weird trailers today. We got some weird trailers, but now... We've got nothing but good stuff. We're probably not going to watch all nine minutes of this, but uh, there's a new map for Halo Infinite that was revealed uh, for the multiplayer. This is uh, the map called Streets. It's nine minutes. We're probably not going to watch all this. I'm Ryan McCaffrey with IGN, joined by Kaylee, the lead multiplayer designer here in Halo Infinite. Uh, Kaylee, what map is this? And uh, let's let's uh, take us on a tour here. Yeah, we're checking out streets. Uh, here we are in the station spawn for one of I the teams. I, maybe uh, we will watch this. And you can see right ahead of us, we've got uh, a view right on the power weapon, right dead center yes. of the map. Uh, um, now this room, there's art, so we've already got a little bit of verticality in here. We've got this little kind of platform that I'm sure in, factors into play in firefights fairly frequently. Absolutely, yeah. So you can uh, go ahead and explore this room if you like. Can uh, I have a multi-pass? And in the back of the room, uh, you'll find a route that'll take you up to that balcony to your right. All right, let's wander up there. Yeah, so this is a asymmetric map. Uh, so the layout uh, is different all over. And uh, each team spawns in a slightly uh, different uh, part of the map. You got the other team spawning on the opposite side of the power weapon, and that's contested. This gun was weird. Between both. I didn't really um, get a, a hold of it. rifle mounted on the wall here. Yeah, so you can get up in this balcony here and uh, take some uh, sniper shots across the map. But there's very specific sight lines here yeah. uh, that are constrained, and you see you've got these palm trees a bit in your view as well. Um, so what you're able the to the needler's still in the game. We were able to uh, put shots on. It's uh, very uh, specific. All right, so, and this is set in New Mombasa here, the New Mombasa Transit Authority, very cool setting. Let's wander down here into the main street, a couple of spike grenades. So uh, this is clearly not a large map. Would you say this is kind of an arena 4v4? Yep, this is a arena, arena 4v4 space. And uh, yeah, it's one of our uh, medium to small maps. Uh, and uh, this map is uh, playing really strong with our strongholds uh, mode. Ew. Um, as well as oddball as well. Ew. 
some fun art on the walls over here. And yeah, if you explore this place, there's lots of uh, really fun. You know, not that much energy <laughs> in this trailer. Uh, depth to the art that uh, kind of low uh, energy here. Uh, lots of fun little little things to explore and all the signs. Uh, Yeager, and, uh, thanks for the five. Appreciate that. All the different shops that are in this level, which is really fun to put together. All right, so we're in the cafe area here. Pulse carbine on the wall. Yeah, and as you go through these different areas, you're going to see those weapon racks uh, on the walls with uh, different weapons highlighted there. See my name differently every month. I love it. it. <laughs> I'll keep on subbing. I'll find some new ways. Absolutely. And so uh, here up on your left, you can see uh, one of the piece of equipment in your map all the way to your left side. I think it's funny when streamer and or when uh, when viewers have like spawn. names so that are that out, you can pick up obviously wall. very fucking right. difficult to pronounce. And then they so like the resub right and they're like, well, all they said my name station. differently. Well, yeah, no shit. We continue because uh, no one reads way, that name on a normal space. basis. <laughs> so the the intention seemingly is everybody's going to rush that rocket launcher to kick things off. Yeah, well, there's uh Different decision making going on here for the team. So Blue Sapphire have, gifted uh, some subs. Some Thank you for that, Chad. I think we're gonna. I'm hitting the rip cord. Start, like that rocket launcher. Th this is harsh in my vibe. This is harsh in my vibe here. I'm pulling. I'm pulling the rip cord. I'm pulling the rip cord. It's too slow. It's too slow. I need a fast and furious trailer. Just. Like this Battlefield 2042 official PC trailer with RTX on. Let's see what we let's see what we think. Did, was RTX enabled in the beta? I don't, was it? I don't think it was. Right. I don't even think they had DLSS profiles in there. All right. I'm ex I'm excited to be impressed with the Battlefield 2042 PC trailer. Here we go. Have we even seen? Here's some gameplay. All this looks cutscene. Does that look low FPS? Is the is the trailer 1080 60? Good, you guys. That looked kind of rough, y'all. <laughs> I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see what happens. 
That was a little, uh, a little spicy. Yeah. It, uh, I guess we'll see next week, won't we? Because that's when that game comes out. Yeah, it was neither fast near, you know, I, I even like, I tried to set a little expectations there for myself. And it's still, it still didn't, it. I never thought I'd say this, but uh, Call of Duty Vanguard looked a lot, a lot better. A ton better. A lot ton. A ton lot. Anyways. Do some daily demons here, chat. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We got six of them. Number 184. Shin Megami Tensei 5. Wow, that's loud. Shin Megami Tensei yesterday training demons, etc. This time, we will deliver demons. Great. Marukiri. <laughs> Maruki Day's secret place. That was it. Okay. My home visit is from the origin if you tie a large bottle. The house will lead the soul of human particles suddenly in preparation for the coming Twilight Ragnarok. Wait a minute, what? It is said to play a role. Okay. Kind of. All right. Next time, I will introduce the Demon King. Please look forward to it. Well, don't mind if I do. Number 185. Let's see the Demon King. There's a lot of Demon Kings. Shin Megami Tensei. I got every time. Shin Megami Tensei, yes, they turn demons, etc. This time, we will deliver the Demon King. Great, that's what I'm here for. Mitras. From Mithras. Alright, wall attack. At that time, which symbolized the resurrection, a pie festival was held to praise the favorite god. Okay. And. You know, pie festivals are great. And next time, we will introduce Kunizu God. Please look forward to it. All right. Pie festival. Great. Probably pretty good. Shin Megami Tensei. <laughs> they come out of nowhere, chat. Shin Megami Tensei, yes, they turning devil, etc. This time, we will deliver Kunizu God. It's a Krongo moment right there. Oyamatsumi. Suyuki Oyama. Oh, he's huge. The person of Kunuzu God who appears in Japanese mythology, Suzanu's End Island, is known as Yamano God, but water sources and leaves, I don't have that Famicom because I also dominate the greenery of the water, period. Okay. I will introduce the request next time. Please look forward to it. What was that about a Famicom? What? Don't do it to me. Oh, thank God. We, did, we got it this time, chat. Whew, we don't have to be. Whew. Here we go. Shin Megami Tensei. Yes, day turning devil, et cetera. Number of requests delivered this time. Okay, he's going to get a lot of requests, guys. Jack O'Lantern. Jack O'Lantern. Ah, 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 please. 
ハロウィンのカボチャトーマのお化けでその姿形は一般にもよく知られている夜に浮かび現れたら道行く人を驚かせた If you invite me to follow you after being surprised at the used death fight, you may get lost. Next time, I want to introduce the demon god. Please look forward to it. No longer a king, but a god, chat. What's a king to a god? What's a god to a king? Kanye, poet of our times, chat. Number 188. Shin Megami Tensei. <laughs> Shin Megami Tensei. Yes, the turning devil, etc. This time, we'll deliver the demon god. Is also coming. Period. The number of guardians of the two local ranks is sharply monitored. It is said that people will be strengthened with their speech. What the? Next time, I'll introduce my courage. Please look forward to it. What the hell is that? What was that creature? We're going to talk about his courage? Here we go. 189, the final one. Shin Megami Tensei 5. Megami Tensei, yes, day turning devil, et cetera. This time, a torture guys who surprises courage. Ah, yes, it's a uh, ghostly porterhouse. What the fuck is that thing? A demon who appears in the house and makes a terrible rice field. That's awful. Harmless enough to make a noise. It is said that we will carry out uncallable destruct. Wait, what? Destruction? What? Uncallable destruction activities. Oh, okay. Next time, we'll introduce the container. Please look forward to it. That's not the container. That's the most OP motherfucker in the land. Chat. He is broken as fuck, and we you must find him immediately. He will carry you into the end game. That's just how it goes. That's just how it goes. Chat. It's November 1st. And for the next 17 days, we're going to be watching this trailer in full. Every day. At the end of trailer time. If you haven't beaten Shadowbringers, maybe spoilers? Maybe just mute for 5 minutes and 59 seconds? But if you have, you know, here we go. It's time to go <laughs> to the motherfucking moon. Or the moon. The only trader that matters, chat. Maybe get a little louder. Maybe get a little louder. Maybe get a little louder.
What a baller. Alize! Are you alright? I can look after myself, you know. And I've had enough of this rush. Come on! Best part of the trailer. As the chaos spread, oh, still. the star seemed doomed to unravel. And yet. Best part of the trailer. There were those who stood in defiance of that fate. Oh. Oh. The hour is come. It's all or nothing. while the world is lost to ruin. It would. Come what may, we shall live on. We must. Do as you must, then. But we scions will fight. Until the heavens fall. Until our last breath. goddamn trailer chat what a motherfucking trailer right there it's gonna be a good one 17 days y'all tune in tomorrow we're gonna watch that trailer again. <laughs> we're gonna watch it all over again okay we're gonna do it all over we'll watch that one more time because who fucking cares who cares? All right. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <sighs> Anyways, 
that's going to do it for trailer time. Man, that Battlefield trailer was a, kind of a letdown. It's kind of a letdown, you know? A, I, 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 don't, I hope it's... Oh, man. I hope that game's good. I hope that game's good. Anyways, thanks for watching Trailer Time. We'll see you on Wednesday for another one because tomorrow I'm taking the day off. So that'll do it for Trailer Time. Thanks so much for watching. Once again, we'll see you on Wednesday where we will be continuing the Final Fantasy Trailer-a-thon. Okay? We're out of here. Bye-bye.